The housing market in Sioux Falls and much of South Dakota has been on an upward climb for more than a year. It's made for some tough competition for anyone looking for a new house. But in tonight's Eye on Kelland, we explain why this hot real estate market has been especially difficult for people trying to buy their first home. This may look like a typical family going through the grueling task of moving. But for Victoria and Robert Cross, this move is a hard fought first for their family of six. You guys have been ready to be in a house for a while. Yeah, years. They had no idea it would end up taking years to actually buy their first home. The Crosses are not a typical story. Uh, I met them three years ago, almost to the day, in a first time home buyer class. During that class, they learned they had some work to do before they could get through the first step in buying a home. When I have somebody come to me that is ready or thinks they're ready to look for that first home, I ask them for the pre-approval letter. The Cross family learned they needed to build up their credit before they could get approved for their first mortgage. We were keeping an eye on our credit and we finally hit that point where it hit 580 and then we got the pre-approval letter and we went from there basically. Getting that pre-approval took almost two years of building up their credit. But the next step took even longer than expected. We were actively looking probably close to nine months. Nice three season porch. We first introduced you to the crosses this past July as they were putting in their 12th offer on a house. As soon as we put an offer in, a lot of times we're outbid. There used to be a time where when you saw what the list price was, that was where you started and probably what you paid. Now, whatever the price is today, that's really the starting point and it becomes a bidding war if the home is in good shape. That's especially true for any newly listed home that's 300,000 or less. It is super competitive when a quote unquote affordable house hits the market. We've, we're now in a period where if we list the house on a Wednesday, chances are the agent notes say we need your offer by five o'clock on Monday and it just starts the rat race. Hague Realtor Justin Gary says when these newly listed affordable homes hit the market, it's a revolving door of dozens of hopeful homeowners lined up to get a look inside. One house we walked into, there were already 14 other realtor cards on the table. And he's like, and these are the ones who left their cards. So there could have been however many more on top of that. With so much competition, first time home buyers with a history of credit challenges like the Cross family have an especially tough time winning a bid. A lot more difficult. Um, I mean, because there was some that we know we offered more and they ended up going with somebody with a more conventional loan. Some loans do come with different challenges. Uh, for the crosses, that was an issue. They were an FHA loan, which is government backed. And normally the appraisers look for a home that is safe and that is sound. And sometimes those flags come up and we need to fix all those issues. All right, so more questions? Yeah. But last week, after more than nine months of actively searching and putting in more than 15 bids, congratulations, you just bought a house. The Crosses finally purchased their first home. Yeah. Do you feel like your whole year has been house hunting? It almost, yeah, it really does. I was actually almost to a point where I was like, okay, one more, you know, and if we don't get approved, then I think we're going to take a year off because it was just getting to be more stressful than I was really ready for. As this hot market continues, realtors know that stress and the increased home prices. Uh, year over year, we've seen a 21.5% increase in our MLS. Are causing some would be first time homeowners to pause. I think first time home buyers are holding a little bit. You know, you do see the occupancy rates for apartments around town at above 99%. So something has to give. For the Cross family, that tipping point came out of a need for more space. With a family of six and one bathroom is not recommended. It's what makes all of the struggles of the past year worth it. Got a hand, that's right. <laughs> now that they finally have a home of their own. It was nice to know that it's done. We can move. Everyone's got their place here now. Uh, congratulations on your new home. Now the Cross family has this advice for anyone looking to buy their first home. Have some patience and make sure you find a realtor and a banker you trust to help guide you through every step of the highly competitive housing market out there. It doesn't seem to be changing anytime soon. Ah, oh, the joys of signing all those papers oh, at closing. It takes so long. <laughs> it takes a long time.